This book is called Do No Harm by Henry Marsh. I remember spotting this a couple of months ago in a bookstore in Harbach and it was so beautiful. I picked it up and had a look at the blurb and I decided not to buy it because it seemed totally irrelevant to me and not like something I felt pressed to read. And then I saw it in paperback last week and I was just drawn to it. So I decided to pick up a copy and I've sort of stormed through it. Henry Marsh is a British neurosurgeon and every chapter in this book is a different sort of just anecdotal story about his times being a neurosurgeon, whether that be, you know, having very complicated operations that don't go well or do go well, or dealing with the bureaucracy in the hospital, or kind of going to Ukraine and trying to elevate the standards of surgery there, or even just falling down his stairs and breaking his leg. This isn't the kind of book that I would usually read, but I remember somebody saying once, and I totally agree, that one of the most interesting things in life is to hear specialists talk about their specialism. And this book is totally that. I've never had major brain surgery, surprise, surprise. So getting a perspective on the sort of mortality of life in that way and the environment of a hospital and life and death and risk and luck and family and love is really powerful. There's a lot on here about the fallibility of surgeons. If a surgery goes well, the surgeon is hailed as God. And if it goes wrong, they have to deal with the weight of that forever. And it's really developed in me a deep reverence for the people that have to play God sometimes. You know, they, they have to choose whether it's worth operating on somebody or letting them, you know, die in the next couple of years. They have to weigh up the risks of, of surgery and stuff like that. And when something goes wrong, they know statistically, you know, you know, 5% of people that have the surgery end up in a vegetative state but if their patient is within that five percent they've caused it and it may have been a human error that they could have solved and just the burden of the chance of that i i am not strong enough to handle that like i would i praise surgeons for being strong enough to deal with that every day of their lives doctors need to be held accountable since power corrupts there must be complaints procedures and litigation commissions of inquiry punishment and compensation at the same time, if you do not hide or deny any mistakes when things go wrong, and if your patients and their families know that you're distressed by whatever happened, you might, if you're lucky, receive the precious gift of forgiveness. I'm actually in the midst of a potential bad um, medical problem within my family at the moment, uh, and this has really, really been useful to sort of set into perspective illness and health and matters of mortality. Um, it's nice to see it from a different view and I hope, I hope against hope that if I ever have a family member or a close friend that comes off worse from surgery um, that I would be able to forgive the surgeon that did it. Really interesting book.